I watch cable news all the time. I'm kind of addicted to it, but I hate that story right across the bottom because I always read it. I try and ignore it, but I can't. I think I'm going to miss something. I, I can't stop. Do you guys do that? I watch, I look, I watch, I look, I watch, I look. It's like talking to a woman with cleavage, you know. I know I should look her in the eye and listen, but I have no idea how that's done. We have everybody tonight uh, named Alexa or Siri. If there are, I apologize. I'm so sorry for on behalf of the humanity that you are named Alexa or Siri. You had a perfectly good name, and then we ruined it for you. Now everybody wants to ask you stupid questions and giggle. I'm sure it was funny the first time. Alexa and Siri probably aren't on the top list of 100 birth names anymore. It's like Adolf in the 40s. <laughs> There's not a man under 80 named Adolf. <laughs> you think about it, though, Hitler got rid of an entire surname. That's impressive. You've got to admit, back in the 40s, if you look through the Berlin phone book, there were probably all kinds of Hitlers in there, and then they all went, oh, shit, we've got to be Johnsons. If your name's Alexa, probably people don't even want to invite you over anymore because they end up just arguing with their machine. <laughs> hey, Alexa, what was the name of the guy you dated in, uh, in, high, in college, your sophomore year? I do not have enough information for that. <laughs> not you, Alexa, this Alexa. I want to know who she was dating her sophomore year in college. His name was Brent Johnson. His grandparents were Hitlers. <laughs> <laughs> She briefly dated your husband. No? Did I mumble that? All right. Good. Before I did this for a living, way back when I got out of college, I taught fourth grade for seven years. We got teachers in here getting liquored up on a Wednesday. All right. There we are. Drinking teachers on a Wednesday night. That's beautiful. I got my degree. I crammed four years of college into five. Anybody else? All right. Any other athletes in here? All right. Good. All right. <laughs> Remember the bookstore in college? You buy a book at the beginning of the quarter, $300. Return at the end of the quarter. We give you $20 for that. 20 bucks? That book's never been opened. When I quit teaching, people go, oh, that must be weird, teaching fourth grade and then doing stand-up. I go, entertaining a room full of drunks and a bunch of 10-year-olds. <laughs> Same skill set, folks. <laughs> I did. I taught fourth grade for seven years, and every year in your classroom, God bless you, you have a couple of kids that are working hard, but they're struggling, right? They're struggling academically, so you always call up mom and dad. You want them to come to have a conference, but almost every time, here comes mom and dad to the conference. <laughs> well, it seems to be the problem. Never mind. Anything we can do to help you, Mr. Upton? Try not to reproduce again. Could you please? <laughs> you know I'm not making that up. I always walk in, hi, I'm Billy's parents. I know. How'd you know? Sloping forehead, jeez. I've not seen that in 200,000 years. Looks good on you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> 